If I were to ask you to tell me your favorite book of the Bible, I doubt that many of you would say Habakkuk. That's a strange sounding name, so much so that when I ask people to open up their Bibles to Habakkuk, they look at me like I just made that name up. But I can assure you it is one of the books in Scripture. It's a message of prophecy. It has a very famous passage that is quoted twice by the Apostle Paul in the New Testament. This book begins with the prophet complaining. He's complaining to God about the problem of evil in the world and wondering why we have so much evil and why we have to deal with it all the time. In the second chapter, God begins to answer the prophet's complaint. And that's where we find these words in verse 4. But the righteous will live by his faith. Evil has been and always will be with us. It's been a reality in our lives ever since the fall. But the righteous will live by faith. A reality is that God will not keep evil away from us all the time. Evil's here with us. The, pro the thing that God does promise, though, is that he will be with us through the evil. When evil comes, we're not alone. God is with us. This faith that we live by, this faith is something that God the Holy Spirit leads us to. He leads us to know who Jesus is, to put our confidence in him, because we know that through his life and his death and his resurrection, he has accomplished what we could not do. He has made us righteous. He has made us right with God. So we cling to our crucified and risen Savior, knowing that because of what he has done for us, we have peace with God. I pray that you feel that peace in your life today. And we pray. Father, we are grateful that your word speaks to us in any and every situation. We thank you for the reminder that as those who have been brought to faith, we live by that faith. We've been made righteous and we live by our faith and confidence in Christ Jesus. Give us your peace and help us to live as your people again today. In Jesus' name, amen.